Hey everybody, this is Ian from EssentialTennis.com, where it's our mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate tennis players just like you. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to deal with junk balls. Recently, we got a question submitted from Aditya, I believe, sorry if that's totally wrong. He wrote and said, can you talk about facing junk balls? I'm a 3.5 player and can handle pace well on both wings, but my swing completely messes up and the balls go to the bottom of the net when, re when returning loopy, slow junk balls. Okay, so good question, and this is a common frustration among amateur tennis players of all levels, from beginner, even on, on up through 4.5 and above, players who just give you a whole bunch of soft, weak, spinny stuff. And there's two main things that are most important for you to identify and then execute to be able to deal with this effectively. Number one, you have to pay close attention to what your opponent's racket path is doing so that you can effectively read what the incoming shot is gonna do after it gets over to your side of the court. So for example, and in a second here, you're gonna see a couple of demonstrations. If Ira hits a shot that's spinny and he's coming across his body with a forehand from your left to your right, the ball will always do the opposite of what the racket path is showing you. So if the racket is moving from your left to your right, then the ball is gonna curve from your right to your left. And so we're gonna to cut to a couple of demonstrations where Ira is giving me some spin, a couple in one direction and then a couple in the other. And you'll see that I adjust my positioning depending on what direction the ball is curving. So this is key element number one. If you are not able to read your opponent's technique and reliably know what the ball is gonna do as a result, then you're always gonna be out of position, you're always gonna be either jammed up or off balance, and so you won't be able to hit an effective shot. So key number one is paying close attention to the swing path and then reading what the spin is going to do. It takes some, some practice to be able to get that um, kind of second nature and be able to just read it immediately, but pay attention to it at first, consciously at first, and it'll, it'll start to become a habit. Secondly, as you hit these shots, racket head speed is paramount. If you get a weak, floaty, spinny shot, and you don't have a full swing, a relaxed body, and you don't have good racket head speed, then the ball is gonna to tend to wanna to just come off your strings in whatever direction that it was spinning in the first place. So if you don't really give the ball some positive direction and you don't have some confidence behind your swing, you're going to struggle against that type of opponent. So again, we'll cut to a couple of demonstrations of me making my swing as Ira's giving me just some floaty, soft, weak junk. You'll see that my body's relaxed. I'm making a full swing. This does not necessarily mean that you should be trying to crush this shot, but there needs to be some length to the, to the swing. There needs to be some relaxation there. If you're tight and tentative and tense, it's not going to work out the way that you want. So hopefully that's helpful to you. If you wanna continue improving your forehand and backhand ground strokes, we've got a link in the description down below to some coaching. It'll just cost you a buck and it will show you exactly how to hit the most accurate and consistent forehand and backhand ground strokes that you've ever hit in your life. If this video was helpful to you, do me a favor and click like and leave any comments or questions that you, that you may have down below. Thank you so much for watching today. Take care and good luck with your tennis. For hundreds of free digital tennis lessons, head over to EssentialTennis.com right now. More wins and more fun on the court is right around the corner. You'll even get a free gift just for stopping by. Simply click the link at the top of any page.